2020 to 2024 extra class. FCC Element 4 Question Pool. Effective July 1, 2020. Edited by KI5DFU. June 2020. Subelement E2 Operating Procedures, 5 Exam Questions 5 Groups. Amateur Radio in Space, Amateur Satellites, Orbital Mechanics, Frequencies and Modes, Satellite Hardware, Satellite Operations. What is the direction of an ascending pass for an amateur satellite? Answer, from south to north. Which of the following occurs when a satellite is using an inverted linear transponder? Answer, all these choices are correct. Doppler shift is reduced because the uplink and downlink shifts are in opposite directions. Signal position in the band is reversed. Upper sideband on the uplink becomes lower sideband on the downlink and vice versa. How is the signal inverted by an inverting linear transponder? Answer, the signal is passed through a mixer and the difference rather than the sum is transmitted. What is meant by the term mode? As applied to an amateur radio satellite? Answer, the satellite's uplink and downlink frequency bands. What do the letters in a satellite's mode designator specify? Answer, the uplink and downlink frequency ranges. What are Keplerian elements? Answer, parameters that define the orbit of a satellite. Which of the following types of signals can be relayed through a linear transponder? Answer, all these choices are correct. FM and CW. SSB and SSTV. PSK and packet. Why should effective radiated power to a satellite that uses a linear transponder be limited? Answer, to avoid reducing the downlink power to all other users. What do the terms L-band and S-band specify regarding satellite communications? Answer, the 23cm and 13cm bands. What type of satellite appears to stay in one position in the sky? Answer, geostationary. What type of antenna can be used to minimize the effects of spin modulation and Faraday rotation? Answer, Answer, a circularly polarized antenna. What is the purpose of digital store and forward functions on an amateur radio satellite? Answer, to store digital messages in the satellite for later download by other stations. Which of the following techniques is normally used by low Earth orbiting digital satellites to relay messages around the world? Answer, store and forward. Television practices, fast skin television standards and techniques slow skin television standards and techniques. How many times per second is a new frame transmitted in a fast scan NTSC television system? Answer, 30. How many horizontal lines make up a fast scan NTSC television frame? Answer, 525. How is an interlaced scanning pattern generated in a fast scan NTSC television system? Answer, by scanning odd numbered lines in one field and even numbered lines in the next. How is color information sent in analog SSTV? Answer, color lines are sent sequentially. Which of the following describes the use of vestigial sideband in analog fast skin TV transmissions? Answer, vestigial sideband reduces bandwidth while allowing for simple video detector circuitry. What is vestigial sideband modulation? Answer, amplitude modulation in which one complete sideband and a portion of the other are transmitted. What is the name of the signal component that carries color information in NTSC video? Answer, chroma. What technique allows commercial analog TV receivers to be used for fast skin TV operations on the 70 centimeters band? Answer, transmitting on channels shared with cable TV. What hardware, other than a receiver with SSB capability and a suitable computer, is needed to decode SSTV using Digital Radio Mondial, DRM? Answer, no other hardware is needed. What aspect of an analog slow skin television signal encodes the brightness of the picture? Answer, tone frequency. What is the function of the vertical interval signaling, VIS, code sent as part of an SSTV transmission? Answer, to identify the SSTV mode being used. 
What signals SSTV receiving software to begin a new picture line? Answer, specific tone frequencies. Operating methods, contest and DX operating, remote operation techniques, Cabrillo format, QSLing, RF network connected systems. What indicator is required to be used by U.S. licensed operators when operating a station via remote control and the remote transmitter is located in the U.S.? Answer, no additional indicator is required. Which of the following best describes the term self-spotting? In connection with HF contest operating? Answer, the often prohibited practice of posting one's own call sign and frequency on a spotting network. From which of the following bands is amateur radio contesting generally excluded? Answer, 30 meters. Which of the following frequencies are sometimes used for amateur radio mesh networks? Answer, frequencies shared with various unlicensed wireless data services. What is the function of a DX QSL manager? Answer, to handle the receiving and sending of confirmation cards for a DX station. During a VHF slash UHF contest, in which band segment would you expect to find the highest level of SSB or CW activity? Answer, in the weak signal segment of the band, with most of the activity near the calling frequency. What is the Cabrillo format? Answer, a standard for submission of electronic contest logs. Which of the following contacts may be confirmed through the US QSL Bureau system? Answer, contacts between a U.S. station and a non-U.S. station. What type of equipment is commonly used to implement an amateur radio mesh network? Answer, a wireless router running custom firmware. Why might a DX station state that they are listening on another frequency? Answer, all these choices are correct. Because the DX station may be transmitting on a frequency that is prohibited to some responding stations. To separate the calling stations from the DX station. To improve operating efficiency by reducing interference. How should you generally identify your station when attempting to contact a DX station during a contest or in a pileup? Answer, send your full call sign once or twice. What technique do individual nodes use to form a mesh network? Answer, discovery and link establishment protocols. Operating methods. VHF and UHF Digital Modes and Procedures, APRS, EME Procedures, Meteor Scatter Procedures. Which of the following digital modes is designed for meteor scatter communications? Answer, MSK-144. Which of the following is a good technique for making meteor scatter contacts? Answer, all these choices are correct. Dash 15 second timed transmission sequences with stations alternating based on location. Use of special digital modes. Short transmissions with rapidly repeated call signs and signal reports. Which of the following digital modes is especially useful for EME communications? Answer, JT65. What technology is used to track, in real time, balloons carrying amateur radio transmitters? Answer, APRS. What is one advantage of the JT65 mode? Answer, the ability to decode signals which have a very low signal-to-noise ratio. Which of the following describes a method of establishing EME contacts? Answer, time-synchronous transmissions alternately from each station. What digital protocol is used by APRS? Answer, AX.25. What type of packet frame is used to transmit APRS beacon data? Answer, unnumbered information. What type of modulation is used for JT65 contacts? Answer, multitone AFSK. How can an APRS station be used to help support a public service communications activity? Answer, an APRS station with a global positioning system unit can automatically transmit information to show a mobile station's position during the event. Which of the following data are used by the APRS network to communicate station location? Answer, latitude and longitude. Operating methods, operating HF digital modes. Which of the following types of modulation is common for data emissions below 30 MHz? Answer, 
FSK. What do the letters FEC mean as they relate to digital operation? Answer, forward error correction. How is the timing of FT4 contacts organized? Answer, alternating transmissions at 7.5 second intervals. What is indicated when one of the ellipses in an FSK crossed ellipse display suddenly disappears? Answer, selective fading has occurred. Which of these digital modes does not support keyboard-to-keyboard -keyboard operation? Answer, Pactor. What is the most common data rate used for HF packet? Answer, 300 baud. Which of the following is a possible reason that attempts to initiate contact with a digital station on a clear frequency are unsuccessful? Answer, all these choices are correct. Your transmit frequency is incorrect. The protocol version you are using is not supported by the digital station. Another station you are unable to hear is using the frequency. Which of the following HF digital modes can be used to transfer binary files? Answer, Pactor. Which of the following HF digital modes uses variable length coding for bandwidth efficiency? Answer, PSK31. Which of these digital modes has the narrowest bandwidth? Answer, PSK31. What is the difference between direct FSK and audio FSK? Answer, direct FSK applies the data signal to the transmitter VFO, while AFSK transmits tones via phone. How do ALE stations establish contact? Answer, ALE constantly scans a list of frequencies, activating the radio when the designated call sign is received. Which of these digital modes has the fastest data throughput under clear communication conditions? Answer, 300 baud packet.